Ano ba?
First to offer the read is Mrs. Caroline Tayaban, wife of late Police Staff Sergeant Dane Hambon Tayaban, together with Mrs. Nobelita Badonado, mother of late Patroman Manny Jose Badonado. Hard times may pass in Bolivia, but their noble deeds and heroism will always be remembered. Theirs are the leaves of example, and rather, dedication to service, an inspiration that gives hope out of despair. So invigorating like the light that breaks through after the rain, theirs are the lives For the read is Police Major General Armando Clifton Van Asen Piso, Director Special Action Force. Today, the Special Action Force commemorates their lives that not when not in vain. For these departed comrades who are loved and dearly held in our hearts, we pay this tribute. For these and some heroes who barely fought and died to their sworn duty, we give this honor. Long they have surrendered the comfort of life in exchange of commitment to service. Long they have curtailed their freedom in exchange of keeping the flames of democracy alive for all. These sacrifices will not be placed beyond recognition. Now the request of gallantry and now for country will be permanently etched in the book of heroism. Whenever they are in the care of the Almighty, surely in the rest there is complete peace.
wish and a witness the blessing of the tomb. May we request priest to attend Colonel Ronnie B. Arrow, staff chaplain, to officiate the blessing. We shall now give recognition to our fallen South Comrades of the Special Action Force. South Memorial Days is a commemoration of the heroism, self sacrificing services of our fallen South Comrades who laid their lives in the service of the Filipino people. Today's activity will give emphasis to the following fallen South Comrades. Patrolman Mani Jose Bagonado. Patrolman Albert Labrover Sosa. Patrolman Tom Cabdano Nueva. Police Corporal Paul Calpac Malukay. Police Sub Sergeant Tay Hambon Tayaban. Patrolman Rodney Anabe Ulidi. And Police Major Emerson de la Peña Palomares. At this juncture, may we request to please remain standing.
may you request our guest of our speaker and director of special action force together with the families of the South Body Complex to return to respective places. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the written A ceremony. You may now take your seats, Sir Mama. the colors.
पुलिस मेल जोड़ जाएगा नॉरी करेंगे सर और इन कंट्री पार्ट्स दैट आई मेल जोड़ पीटर करेक्ट हूँ कि पसीने पर मेंटेशन सीन पीर पीर टेंटी मिलेगा मिस्टर जस्टिन रमान डिविजनल अफेयर्स के संबंध में मिस्टर जेबी जापान एस एफ ओडी आई वन वन टू फोर मिस्टर जेबी ओडी एस एफ ओडी वन वन टू फोर आल्सो मिस्टर डेनिस पिलियास मिस्टर रॉबर्ट डिसन द कोर्स आवर सपोर्ट बाय द काउंसिल मेंबर्स Ready to make sure our German, our former staff director, Mr. Leo Santiago, Mr. Owen and Antonio Owen, how much? Mom, Maria Rosario, how much? Mr. Michael Cuba, the families of our fallen comrades. Uh, this is Carly Tayaban, the wife of Clay. Police Staff Sergeant Daniel uh, Harbon Tayaban. Are you? Kaya uh, Tayaban, the son. Ismail Tayaban, our brother, and Catherine Amor, our relatives. Mr. Robert Baldonado, and Mrs. Namilita Baldonado. Parents of the Ray Patron and Jose Mani, Jose Fernando. Directorial staff, Italian Commander Salam, officers, men and women of PNP Special Action Force, ladies and gentlemen, isa po mapapalang umaga sa ating lahat. Good morning. Good morning. As we used to say, troopers never die. They just fade away. At this very moment, we pay tribute to our heroes through our sub memorial day. This is a tribute and honor to each one in which our unit venerates all of our fallen and gallant troopers who sacrificed their lives in service to the Filipino people. Today, we shall once again remember that we still live to fulfill the mission that they fought for. Captain the Rutgert once said, and I quote, those who have come enjoyed such privileges as we never forget in time that men have died to win them." Unquote. Let that this quote happen to our heroes. To us, they are loved, honored, and born not just by family members, but by the whole nation as well. Today, our ceremony is for them to reconnect the beginning of the freedom that the whole country is enjoying nowadays. This activity is, to, is a reminder, especially to the younger generations, of the gallantry of those before us. We must ground ourselves that every failure award by those who lose means their lives and ultimate service. That war, it is truly inspiring that such stories will be known by the community that we sworn to serve and protect. We take the honor to honor them on our Memorial Day, ensuring that their sacrifices and heroism go respected and that their memories are never forgotten. Let us be inspired by their heroism as we do our duties and care responsibilities and carry out the mandate of the PNP Special Action Force. This modern hero, the hero, ladies and gentlemen, shall forever be remembered and 
and they will be marked as legend in the existing existence of PNP South. At this point, on behalf of the whole PNP Special Action Force, headed by our director, Police Major General Milton B. Pisoder, I'd like to thank you all for taking, taking out of your busy day to stand with us in recognition and honor for those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice in service to this nation. Likewise, I would also like to recognize all those among us who have served, currently serving, as well as any of you here who have lost a loved one in the service. Sat is humbled by your sacrifices and we commend your demonstration of strength during those difficult times. We tribute and salute to our gallant troopers. I welcome you all to the commemoration of our heroes, the 2019 SAP Memorial Day. Always remember that troopers never die. They just fade away. I tell you, troopers never die. They just fade away. Once again, a pleasant morning and may the force be with us all.
matupad mga pangarap ng anak ko. Wala na dahil po sa nangyari sa kanya ng sabi po nila habang nag-retrain sa pag-abigas na nalulot po ang anak ko. Napakasakit, napakasakit po bilang mga magulang sa nangyari, sa nangyari sa anak ko. Kailan malapit na matapos ang paghihirap at pagod kung kailan po maranasan din po sa inyo na ang saya at ginhawa sa kapugalan ang nangyari sa kanya. Apre pa lang po, sinasabi niya po na ang anak ko na may basis po siya pero di naman po magtutuloy. Sabi niya, mga June or Uzun or July na ay may 5 days na may passes. Pagkagrabit na kumando 15 days na nga. Exact po na, ay kung ang ako ng anak ko kasi po birthday mo mo. Oros 21. Sabi po niya, exact po. Exact po po mag... Exact po po mag-blow out kasi po mo. Nagtagwit siya, nagtagwit, makapasalang bolik sa hindi po kami nag-blow out kasi wala po mga pang-blow out. Pero hindi na po mamaranas, mamaranasan ang anak ko yun. Naawag po ako talaga sa anak ko para kung narinig po ang boses ng anak ko habang habang nagululo, hindi po ako makatulo. Nasabi niya na may sorry na matutupad ang mga pangarap ko sa inyo. Para may isip ko, humihingi ko ng tulong sa kanyang mga kasama, sa mga nagbabantay sa kanya, sa Diyos. Sobrang awa ko po sa anak ko. Dahil ang hirap na naranasan na naranasan na anak ko sa training, hanggang sa pagkumatay na naroon po niya ang hirap. Mabait po ang anak ko, makadyos at matulungin para kaibigan. Namatay po ang anak ko, dami kong nalungkot at nanihinayang. Ako kami ng mga pamilya niya. Hanggang ngayon, hirap na loob at sobrang lungkot po namin na may Pinaghirapan po niya ay makuha na namin. Marami, marami po kami utang na iniwan ng anak ko. Usapang pag-uwi ng anak ko, unti-unti kaming magbabayad. Makapasok lang po siya sa work. Pero wala na po siya, Sir Ma'am. Wish, wish ko lang po sana tulungan niyo kami. Kapag yung mga utang, yung mga benefits ng anak ko, tulungan po niya sana kami mapaaga kasi may mga porsyento po yung utang namin. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. God bless po sa ating lahat. At this moment, may we request Mrs. Caroline Tayaban, the wife of late police staff Sergeant Dale Hambon Tayaban, for her tribute.
to our guest of honor and speaker, Police General Oscar D. Albayalder, Chief of Philippine National Police, sir. Police Major General Amando Clifton B. M. Piso, Director of SAF, sir. Police Brigadier Manu General Manuel M. Abu, Deputy Director SAF, sir. Police Colonel Luisito Magnaya, sir. Reverend Father Police Lieutenant Colonel Ronnie B. Arong. Sir. Other guests, families of the Galleon Soft Troopers, and to all of us gathered here, good morning. I would like to express my sincerest gratitude to the PNP staff for this Memorial Day in remembering and giving honor to the heroic accomplishments of gallant South troopers who have gone ahead of us by sacrificing their lives in order that others may live. I will also take this opportunity to thank the command group, staff officers, other officers and PNCOs of SAF for the comprehensive support that this unit maintains to extend to the families of their comrades who departed in accomplishing their mission. I would like to emphasize that this is a comprehensive support because all kinds of support have been extended to me and my family as I attest from the time my husband, Police Staff Sergeant Dale Hambon Tayaban, went for checkup until his last breath in Legaspi Hospital. The transfer of his cadaver all the way from Legaspi. Legaspi City to Bikutan for the funeral services, the itinerary in Ifugao and Quirino province. Thank you for such wonderful support system you traditionally practice that really reflects being the most trusted and elite unit of the PNP. I am very proud and grateful that my husband became a part of this unit and in return, I and the families of the Galleon South, Galleon Troopers, pray that God will continue to strengthen, strengthen you all with the virtues instilled in your hearts as South Troopers especially the distinct discipline and camaraderie that made you one family. When my husband, Dale, passed away, I was totally devastated and overwhelmed with grief. I felt much guilt within me. The feeling that we lost security in the family knowing that our two children are too young to be fatherless. However, with all the support, like financial, emotional, and guidance, you have extended to me and my family, I was able to figure out what are needed to be done for the sake of my children and regain my disposition to be morally, emotionally strong, especially with the presence of some personnel all throughout the days of our grief. It is indeed painful that I lost my husband so soon 
but I'm thankful to God for an early marriage, having two children, and 13 years being together. The loss of my husband, Dale, is not easy to accept, but good testimonies of his students, friends, classmates, and immediate officers with regards to his personal character, work, attitude, and performance in his short service in the PNP are worth enough to comfort me, for he maintained his good breeding and became more responsible police officer and a father to his two children. His physical body is gone, but the fruit of his good deeds, his tremendous love, and exemplary memories he left behind will always remain in our hearts. His humbleness even surprised me knowing that he became part of Marawi liberation and the first wounded during the Marawi siege and he survived. However, God has another way to let him depart here on earth. And I understand that he finished the race and done his mission. Thus, I promise, I share this promise of the Lord to the families of all Galleon soft troopers, which I hold on, that actually strength, uh, strengthens me. In Psalms chapter 68, verse 5, it says there, God is the father of the fatherless and the protector of the widows. To the families of the Galleon troopers, let us remain strong, holding on the shared memories and good deeds they left behind. To the Special Action Force family, you will always be inspired with the heroic deeds of your comrades and continue to serve with righteousness in your hearts for the glory of God and for the common welfare of the people in our country. Once again, thank you for all your support. God will reward you with thousand folds of blessings as you continue your service to the people of this country. Good morning. Thank you, ma'am. General Armando Clifton Bantasim Piso, Director, Special Action Force. To our guest of honor and speaker whom I will be introducing, introducing a little bit later, the uh, Regional Director of the uh, NCRPO, Police Major General Guillermo El the uh, Director of the Directorate for uh, Operations, soon to be Police Major General Emmanuel Luis Lico, the uh, Deputy of uh, the Special Action Force Police, Brigadier General Mani Abu, the uh, Chief of Staff, Police Colonel Luisito Magnaye, Padre Loniaro, former SAF directors who are present, uh, Police Major General Leo Santiago Jr. Sir. Police uh, Major General Leo Napeña, sir. Police uh, Major General Noli Talino, sir. The uh, Deputy of uh, DPCR, Police Brigadier General Vito Daniel. The uh, DRDO of NCRPO, Police uh, Brigadier General uh, Crisaldo Nieves.
ever supportive uh, foreign counterparts, members of our advisory council who are present here. Families of our fallen heroes, may we request uh, the families to please rise to be recognized, ma'am, sirs. Salakpakan po natin sila. Thank you. Men and women of the Special Action Force, other special guests, Visitors, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. The Greek philosopher Thucydides once said, and I quote, The bravest are surely those who have the clearest vision of what is before them. Glory and danger alike, and yet notwithstanding, go out and meet it, unquote. We're here today to honor our fellow trooper heroes, to remember their achievements, their courage and dedication, and to say thank you for their sacrifices. Thinking of the heroes who are among us today and those who are only here in spirit, a person can't help but feel awed by the enormity of what we encounter. We stand in the midst of patriots and the family and friends of those who nobly serve. The South Troopers we honor today came from all walks of life, but they shared several fundamental qualities. They possess courage, pride, determination, selflessness, dedication to duty, and integrity. All qualities needed to serve a cause larger than oneself. May we always remember how each of them lived to be the best son, husband, father, brother, friend, relative, officer, commando, and sub trooper. May we be inspired by the characters they had, the perseverance they displayed in perfecting their skills and expertise, the values they possess in carrying out the mission of preserving peace in our society in their firm commitment to the cause they stood for. We are gathered here to commemorate their bravery and heroism. Today's occasion is made more meaningful with the presence of a of fellow SAC trooper who is now at the helm of the Philippine National Police. The man tasked with the formidable mission to continue the relentless war on crime, illegal drugs, and corruption, sustain the downtrend in crime across the nation, and maintain the positive public approval rating on the campaign against all forms of criminal activity waged by the Philippine National Police. His task is made more daunting as he is also faced with the challenge to wage a strong war against hoodlums in uniform who refuse to toe the line and walk the straight and narrow path of public service. This is the greatest challenge to his service of more than three decades, a challenge he not only accepted wholeheartedly, but now faces head on. Today, more than a year after his, assum his assumption of office in April 2018, we have seen that we do not only have a good leader, but a great leader one who not only inspires and brings out the best in his men, but who exacts obedience and discipline in the organization. He is firm in punishing the undisciplined, but generous and rewarding the deserving. Confronted by the brutal facts in our country's peace and order situation, he has accepted the reality of the problems and challenges being faced by our organization, and is addressing all this one step at a time with firm and genuine resolve for him, for him. For him, no task is too difficult for as long as it is carried out with determination and his sincere heart for service. Under his leadership, the war on drugs is as strong as ever. Crime remains on a downtrend and police scalawags are being dealt with firmly. With him at the helm, 
the PNP continues to soar high and achieve great results. His brand of leadership founded on professional competence and his ability to inspire others and lead by example have now become the standard in all levels of command in the Philippine National Police. On top of it all, he is a grateful son, a loving husband, a caring father, a God-fearing man, a mentor, and a leader. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome our guest of honor and speaker, the Chief of the Philippine National Police, Police General Oscar David Albayale, sir. Please uh, take your seats. Thank you, Cliff, uh, for that uh, very kind introduction. Troop Commander, please uh, give Tikas Painga. Once again, to uh, the Director of the PNP Special Action Force, Major General uh, Cliff Mpiso, and the members of the command group headed by uh, Brigadier General Manuel Abu. We have also here the RD of NCRPO, Major General uh, Guillermo Elezar, and our newly installed Director for the Directorate for Operations, the future Major General uh, Ringo Lico and the Deputy of uh, DPCR, Brigadier General uh, Daniel, Father Aron, Sub Chaplain, the former directors of the Special Action Force. And we also want to thank them all, headed by Major General Leocadio Santiago, Senior Sir, Major General Leo Napeña, Sir, and Major General Nolet Anino, sir. To all our foreign counterparts, members of the PNP Advisory Council, families and friends of our fallen comrades, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, men and women of the PNP Special Action Force, muli sa inyo po lahat, magandang magandang umaga. At this time of each year, we pause and take time to remember and pay tribute to our men and women in the PNP Special Action Force who made the ultimate sacrifice in the service of our beloved nation. Such history is replete with stories of heroism, gallantry, and sacrifice, stories that reflect our troopers' firm commitment to their oath to serve and protect their boundless courage and selflessness, and their deep love of country. These are stories that inspire, stories that make our hearts heavy, stories that awaken our nationalism. And for each year that we commemorate the South Memorial Day, there are always new stories, new heroes, and new pages added in the South history. Today, we once again render our snappy salute to the fallen heroes of the Special Action Force. We continue to mourn the loss of the gallant South 44, but we stand proud of the bravery and selflessness they displayed. We remain inspired by the Marawi heroes whose never say die in stands saved the city from total ruin. And we remember with respect and great esteem the many other troopers who fought, sacrificed, and died in the battlefield of crime, insurgency, and terrorism so that the rest of our countrymen may live in peace. Amidst the tremendous challenges that the police service faces, the Special Action Force continues to stand tall and proud never retreating from the fiercest battles, always ready to fight and defend the community from crime, insurgency, and terrorism. Our beloved South troopers always face each encounter fully prepared, with heads high, with heads high, and with full hearts for service. 
they know how to fight with courage and they know how to die with honor. We celebrate SAP Memorial Day also in grateful appreciation to the families and loved ones of our fallen SAP brothers and sisters for their enduring love and patience for understanding the SAP mission that our troopers must pursue and for accepting unconditionally the faith of their beloved sons, daughters, brothers, and sisters when they had to make the ultimate sacrifice for God, country, and people. As Chief PNP, let me assure you that the sacrifices of our fallen sub-troopers have not been in vain. And while we can never repay their sacrifices, we can only honor their heroic deeds and gallant service by remaining deeply committed to the ideals of the police service and by performing our duties always with courage, honor, and integrity. To the men and women of the Special Action Force who are left to carry on, I urge you to stay true to the memories of our fallen troopers. Continue with what they have started with the same dedication and loyalty endeavor to achieve more victories in serving and protecting the nation. Make the SAF and the PNP proud, and when faced with extreme danger, fight with the greatest courage and boundless faith in the Lord. While we remember our fallen heroes with heavy hearts, we celebrate their heroism with inspiration and respect as we move forward in the PNP service. As your Chief PNP, all I ask is for you to continue to work harder towards the attainment of our program trust. Give your PNP leadership your stronger support and cooperation. Be the models of integrity, courage, and discipline. And do this for our fallen heroes and the Filipino people that we all love and serve. On this SAF Memorial Day, I join our troopers in reaffirming our commitment to peace at ipagpatuloy nating ipamalas sa sambayanan ang kagitingan, kahusayan, at katapatan ng ating mga alagad ng batas at lingkod ng bayan. Mabuhay ang Special Action Force, mabuhay ang PNP, and may the force be with us all. Uwa! Thank you, sir, for that inspiring message. And now, ladies and gentlemen, may we all rise and sing with great pride and honor the Special Action Force song.
And that concludes the South Memorial Day 2019. We would like to thank Police General Oscar David Alvayalde, Chief Philippine National Police, and other guests for gracing this activity. Once again, good morning and may the force be with us all.